Saturday, May 23rd. Eminem is right here. She's been mowing a little bit. Her little grumpy girl is standing right outside there, being a little upset. Of course, see where she went, straight to the feeder. She's got hay in there, she wants some grain. Bottle boy's right there. He's perfectly content. He'd love to have his bottle right now, but he'll wait a minute. And yesterday, I've been watching this cow for a week. This should be 636. Well, I don't like yesterday morning. I don't know what she's got on her. This is a whole lot nicer than yesterday morning because I see a damp pair of legs and a wet umbilical cord and a mouth on a teat. Up and eating. That's how I like to find them. So, she'll get moved over with the others. I'm not going to do it right now. Kids up, kids eating. I don't even care what the kid is yet. Yeah, a little grumpy. Her voice is getting pretty hoarse. She'll get over that. Give it three or four days. As long as she don't keep me awake at night. And I see two babies and a mama there. One with his head up saying, hey, good morning. Looks like that's a pink tag. It's a girl with her head up saying good morning. Oh, and this one here would be the not so bright one. Which, by reason of deduction, of course, would put that little spot in the corner down there to be yesterday mornings. And incidentally, that's yesterday's mommy. New mommy. But I want to see what swelled face looks like this morning. She actually... I don't know... Oh, come on. Actually, it might be a little bit better. It's either better or it just evened out. Because her nose was crooked yesterday. Okay, well. At the moment, it's not raining. Maybe it won't rain today. We will see. In the meantime, I'll get some more later. This would be yesterday's... Yesterday's calf. Out of that two-year-old right there. She's not real cooperative with getting the calf to eat on her. It happened yesterday. They've been fighting her for a little while. He won't take a bottle. The plan is you have to go down the left side of their mouth. You keep it to the left side, hopefully you get it in the stomach. Otherwise, you get it in the lungs. It came up from the left side. Doesn't mean you hit it every time. I know of people who just shove it down and pour, and I, I don't know how they've kept from killing calves. I really don't. We've, well, luckily, these two haven't killed a calf trying to feed it, but... I gave one Years. Pneumonia, but I've yeah, we've given one or two pneumonia from it. Um, there, I'll get my hand up here so you can get a little. That funnel filled to about right there is enough to kill one. So it doesn't take much. So whoever's got a hold of the calf and a hold of the tube, this is Tigon tubing. It can you can pinch it down. It's kind of cold today. Usually we've got it in a bucket of warm water, which helps. Um, and you watch it as, it's, as the milk's going down the tube. If the milk goes down and up a little bit and down and up a little bit, pinch it off and pull it out fast and hope he didn't give him pneumonia. So, anyway, uh, number one tried first. 
Number two. No, number two tried first. I'm getting this backward. They, they went backwards on me. Usually they try the other way. One can't get it, the other tries. And they each got about five tries. It's a real pain in the butt. I think he's maybe smart enough to eat off Mama, but Mama ain't quite got it figured out that that's what she's supposed to let happen. So between the two of them, they're too stupid to make him live. And I also think instead of being down here, because one of the other calves in here, the next newest one, snitch, was snitching off her last night, and she didn't have a clue. And he got to this park yard to see the new calf we got. And... I'm just guessing here that it's probably my turn to bend over and try to see what I can do. But this year has not been a good year for getting tubes in. I think out of five or six calves that we've tried the tube, we might have got one. And I've talked to a couple of guys about so far this year, everybody's had pretty good looking calves. And he's a good looking calf. You can't see his forehead protrudes a little bit. We, we call them dink calves if they're much worse than that. I mean, he might grow out of that in a few days. But if you got a calf that's got a, an extra large front cranial, they tend to be stupid. Seriously. And don't do as well. There's been years we've had, you know, half a dozen of them. And they're in here for a week while you're just trying to keep them so they'll eat. And I'm not going to say he's a dink yet, but he does kind of have that big forehead. It's not quite as big as they usually are. We'll know in a couple of days. They usually end up being smaller when they get weaned too, but they catch up. I mean, once they're getting fed out, you know, they'll, put, they'll put as much meat on the table as the next one. But... And I didn't plan on going this long with the video, but we'll see what happens here. Sometimes the switches will click. Mama loves on him. She just don't know about this feeding him. And sometimes there is another little trick we can do. Grumpy! Um, her milk's already down, but uh, a little oxytocin could make her produce a little bit more momentarily. You get that udder swelled up and hurt, and then she'll do anything, too. He's already got it. Got it yesterday when he was born. Because he was so raspy from laying there so long the way he was. Yeah, she wasn't here for all the shots yesterday morning, so she don't know what about. But, uh, anyway... Do what we had to do here. I th think she's going to try a bigger nipple. We tried the small one on him. Because sometimes they do a little better with a smaller nipple. Uh, this, this big one might work. We'll see what happens here in a minute. That bottle's got uh, it's half powdered colostrum half milk replacer it's got an egg in it and a little bit of corn syrup get that sugar in there to wake their brain up a little more vitamin b usually does a good job but look at that and he is sucking and uh number one's rubbing his butt because that's what cows do when their calves are nursing. It That's where the, the suck switch is, I guess you would say. And it does make a difference. So, hopefully he gets that figured out. And it must have hit, it hit bottom. So he's like, what the heck was that? Well, you got some more milk in your tummy, kid. Give his lungs a listen. And his heart's fast. Or she said that yesterday, too. Here's what it is. Yeah, that's always 
good too. She says it hit bottom and it pretty well stopped sucking. And that happens too, because they don't know what just happened. It's like, oh wait, there's something there in my stomach. Oh well, I'm gonna let you go. See what else we find later. Literally, ten minutes later, he's got maybe a half a pint in him so far out of three pints. Mama just come up and started licking butt. Somewhere in the middle of that, he pooped, and right when I turned this on, he was sucking good and then quit. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm about ready to shove his butt in the corner and see if I can't get the tube in. Exactly a cold start. It's t-shirt weather. I'll show you down here because there's a hole in the exhaust. There you go. Smells wonderful. Oh, let's see. I showed you the calf trying to eat. Showed you another new calf this morning. Um, Mom actually was able to get a hold of a member of the neighbor's family because they took all that fence out and had it stuck up, stacked up by the road. And then 5:30 last night, there was no fence left. It was all gone. What they had stacked up. So she called the oldest sister, who oh, what is she? 80 or 100 miles away something like that that's what was going on and she was very nice and she's a nice woman she explained what they were doing it's apparently all going in a government program yay and uh, mom explained to her that her uh, sister and her brother-in-law don't return our phone calls and don't explain anything so she was really nice about all of it and, and said what was happening uh, with some of the fences they took out, especially the government fences down by the creek. If our cows cross part of the creek, they're right out into that whole place now. And there used to be a line fence in there that when the government stuff was planted, it uh, pretty well got demolished. So apparently they took all that fencing out and we are supposed to get all of it which her brother-in-law and her sister were already supposed to have told us. And, oh, once again, they don't communicate. We've heard absolutely nothing. And, uh, well, that's what I know there. I mean, that's a plus. It's, uh, you know, really not even half the money they owe us when you get down to it, but better than nothing at all. And daughter number one is supposed to be helping me with this, but she ran in the house to see her mother. We're uh, gonna do whatever today, later this afternoon, this evening, and do a live stream. That's my wife's idea anyway. Doing a little barbecue with just a few friends, mainly family, and a couple other kids as friends. And uh, see if we can't get everybody to laugh by showing part of it. So, uh, would have been nice if she'd actually walked with me and helped me instead of walking the other way and but that's what it is you're gonna get to stare at something I don't know what because that stays right here because once in a while back a fertilizer tender into a field or I've gotten stuck along a worked up field trying to get hay out or something and it happened. One of the
another evening for change. Other reason for change? It's like I smashed my hand like that. It's hauling equipment, so. Anyway, I figured I'd just bring that up that, you know, at least part of the neighbor's family we're still on good terms with. It's just the two that are supposed to be the one handling everything. You know, if you're not going to call me back to tell me anything decent, at least acknowledge the fact that I called you by calling back or sending me a text. So... Hey, look, she didn't come back. And in case you noticed, that swing hitch, they don't hook up themselves. So we're going to do this, get this out of the way, make room for some parking, and hopefully have a decent live stream later. So, hey, at least stop in and say hi and hit the like button for it. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'm, I'm past 1,200 now. I thank all of you very much. Hopefully in the next day or two, I think tomorrow, we're going to start disking. We'll get some field work going. So hit the like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, like I say, join us in the live stream this evening. Thanks, everybody.